let's transcend our own mod and let's add JEI integration to our mod. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves on GitHub right now because in this case, I actually wanted to show you that usually when you have an API of some other mod, they should without question have a site somewhere either on GitHub or on their own site where you can find two things. One of the things is going to be a Maven repository. As you can see, this is right here and then also a dependency. Now those two are actually needed, otherwise you will have a hard time actually adding the mod or the API to your development environment. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take these repositories and copy those over, and uh, then basically simply open our build.gradle file, just somewhere around here, or something like that. We wanna paste this in, so the repositories just go in here, and we wanna get, get the dependencies as well, but we only really want those two right here so we can basically select this copy with control c and then when we go down to the build.gradle file down to dependencies where we have net minecraft and then just put them in here now we actually want to replace this with a correct version here so i'm gonna just replace that it's going to be 1.16.5 and then the api version which we're going to use is 7.7.1 Point one two one, and then the same goes for below here. Now the way that you can find out what the versions here are is basically you can take this repository and usually you should be able to access this. So I can copy this URL, I can put the URL in here, and then as you can see I can actually see some stuff. And the thing that we want is we want a mez. So this is MES and this is JEI and then we want JEI 116.5 and then you can see this is the version, this is the news version and there are all of the jar files. So basically this is the way that you can find the newest version as well. Usually this should be accessible with sort of this file structure here so you can basically look that up as well. And after you've added the repositories down here and then at the almost the very bottom in the dependencies, the those two lines, that actually is all you need to do. Then you can basically load the Gradle changes and it's going to build a few things. This is once again going to take a few moments, of course, depending on how fast your PC is. So for me, it was actually really, really fast, but it might take a few moments longer, just making sure that you get a build successful. And if that is the case, then you actually have JEI, well, more or less installed on the tutorial mod right now. And then we can now start on working to, well, actually integrating with it. There's sort of an idea in what package you want to put this in. I'm going to put this into integration. So integration simply has all of the packages which integrates our mod with any other mod if we really need it. And this will then put in JEI, so another package called JEI. And in there, we actually only want two new classes. One of them is going to be the tutorial JEI. I would call this whatever your mod name is and then JEI written like this. This would be a smart idea. Now we're actually not going to do anything with this yet because we want to first create the other class and that is going to be the lightning channeler recipe category because the names couldn't get any longer and this is going to implement i recipe category and as you can see we now have access to mesj api recipe category so this is perfect this has been done correctly and this is of course of type lightning lightning channel our recipe and then let's implement the methods that we need so as you can see there's a few methods that we definitely need here and those are all fine. So let's first of all think about this. So the first thing we need is the UID. So the UID is basically a resource location to the name of our serialization. So this is a public final static resource location called UID. And this is going to be new resource location tutorial mod dot mod ID and then lightning. There you go. And then we can duplicate this with control D and this will point to a texture and then this is going to be textures slash GUI slash lightning underscore channeler underscore GUI dot PNG because this points to the texture which should be displayed in JEI when we are actually taking a look at this recipe category. What we're basically going to do is we're going to make sure that all the recipes that we add to our lightning channeler can actually be displayed inside of JEI. We need three more things. One of them is going to be a I drawable 
called a background. This is basically going to be the texture. Then we want one which is going to be the icon. And then last but not least, we actually want a eye drawable. And this is going to be the uh, actually eye drawable static. Sorry, there you go. Eye drawable static lightning bolt. So those are the three things that we need. And then for that, of course, we need those three in the constructor. So we can simply do that. Now that, of course, doesn't quite work because actually what we're going to get here is an iGUI helper called helper. And then this is going to do the following. This is going to be helper dot create drawable with the texture. And then this takes in the coordinates and the size. So coordinates is going to be 0, 0, and the size is going to be 176 and then 85. So this is going to take 176 pixels from left to right, and then 85 pixels from top to bottom. And it's going to sort of crop out that and draw that on to the actual screen. The icon is going to be a create drawable ingredient, which is going to be a new item stack mod blocks dot lightning channeler dot get. So this simply creates the actual icon at the top. We're going to see this in just a moment. And then this is going to be the helper dot create drawable once more with the texture. And this is going to be offset 176 pixels to the right, zero pixels to the bottom. This is going to take 13 pixels width and 17 pixels height. So this is exactly going to be the lightning bolt at the right of the actual GUI. So if I actually show you this under GUI lightning channeler, so this is exactly this right here. And we're simply going to overlay that if we need it to be thundering. So that's actually really cool. We can actually do that. Now, once again, I would probably also, if I were to redesign the actual lightning channeler, I would probably make it maybe call it weather channeler and then change this into, you know, a sun, a lightning or a raindrops. This would be a sort of way more understandable. But for the time being, I think we're going to be fine. This is, of course, only an example. In the get UID, we will return a UID. In the class, we will return lightning channeler recipe dot class. In the get title, we will return the mod blocks dot lightning channeler dot get dot get translated name dot get string in the get background we will return this dot background in the icon we will return this dot icon and then in the set ingredients we're going to do the following we're going to say ingredients dot set input ingredients to recipe dot get ingredients this is if i middle mouse button click on here this is the non null list that we have actually added to our lightning channel recipe so very important last lecture of course we added the custom recipe serialization and there we had a list a non null list of ingredients and that is exactly what we're going to get right here so this is uh, the inputs and then we're going to set the outputs so we're going to say ingredients dot, dot set output to vanilla type vanilla types dot item and this is going to be a recipe dot get recipe output very straightforward we're simply going to set the ingredients so that we know okay these are the inputs these are the outputs and then setting the recipe is semi complicated but not really what we can do is we can say recipe layout dot get item stacks dot init and here we can say okay what is the slot index so we're going to say slot index zero this is an input and then we're going to say 79 and then we're going to say 30 now i've already measured out which of the positions we need. So the two inputs are going to be basically on this one and then 52 right here. And then we also have an output, which is going to be a slot index two, and then input is false. And then last but not least, we're going to say recipe layout dot get item stacks dot set ingredients. Now this is actually going to draw the individual items into the GUI at these positions. This is of course a position we need to change. This is 102 and this is 42. Now I've already played around with these positions uh, i've already said that if i were to redo the lightning channeler gui i would probably add a third output here or maybe an output below something like that just so that it's a little clearer as to how the actual thing works now what's going to happen is the first item is going to be displayed here the second item input is going to be displayed here and the output is going to be displayed here it's going to maybe be a little bit confusing but i'm actually sure that it's going to be fine and last but not least we're actually going to also override the draw method and we're going to say if recipe dot get weather equals weather thundering then what we want to do is we want to say this lightning bolt dot draw with the matrix stack 82 and a 9. I've of course also taken a look at what the offset has to be and that is going to be 82 pixels to the right and 9 pixels from 
the top. So if the recipe requires that the weather needs to be thundering, then the lightning bolt will actually get drawn. This is something I find absolutely crazy that this is fairly easy to really implement because this is of course something completely custom that I've uh, implemented here and as you can see it's it's fairly straightforward to actually reflect that on the JEI interface. Right, interestingly enough the category actually has been created and now we can move on to the tutorial JEI class. The tutorial JEI class will implement iMod plugin and it will also take a at JEI plugin attribute here and we will then implement methods. The only method that we really need to implement is the get plugin UID and this is simply going to return a new resource location tutorial mod dot mod ID JEI underscore plugin and then there are a few things that we need to actually overwrite. Actually two methods that are very important and that is the register categories method. I'm going to quickly copy this over. The code is of course available in the description below for download. This one is as you can see simply adds recipe categories. So each recipe category that you want you need to call this with this and create a new category for that. And then what we also want is this and this is the register recipes method and this simply gets the recipes manager from the world and then adds the recipes of type lightning recipe to the registration in this case. So that is the general idea here. Right and this method basically registers all of the recipes. So for the i recipe registration it simply adds all of the recipes of a particular type in this case the lightning recipes type and making sure that this is added to the lightning tender recipe category so that everything is registered correctly. Right and I know what you're going to say it can't be it. Yes actually that is all that we need to do. Now what is really important is if you are going to go with your own custom things here you will probably need to play around with the positions a little bit. That is something that I found and what is very important is that whatever the texture is here the texture size should be 256 by 256 otherwise you will have a sort of a weird texture here. Apart from that everything else should be fairly straightforward. So let's see if it works. All right we find ourselves in Minecraft once more and if I open the inventory you can see JI has been added to our game first of all and I can also see our different things that we have here and if I left click on the firestone I should get a recipe for it and Oh, well, first of all, we have the anvil and then look at this one. Lightning channeler by tutorial mod. Let's take a look how we can craft it. And as you can see, everything is in the right place and the actual recipe displays perfectly just like we wanted to. So you can see a glass pane, an amethyst, and we will get a firestone from it. And it has to be lightning, so it has to be thundering. For this, we can also take a look at the amethyst hole. You can see that there the lightning is not active because, of course, it needs to be clear for this and the recipe also displays just like we would imagine it too. Right, so we have successfully added JEI integration into our mod. As you can see, it was fairly easy, all things considered. If you have custom tile entities and custom recipe serialization, then you can very easily add the way to actually see that in JEI. And I would say that this is probably one of the most important things that you need to do once again. If you really have more complicated recipes and things like that, then you should definitely add this. This will simply, once again, make your mod more accessible to more people and it's just going to be a great thing. And it wasn't that complicated, all things considered, if we're really honest. Right, like always, the entire code is of course linked in the description below. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like and I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.